Good morning, Vicki here uh, with Mrs. Ventures and Living Life. Uh, it is cold in Indiana, <laughs> southern Indiana. It's probably a lot colder in northern Indiana, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, it's like 39, and I don't know, all this week it's not going to be over 40. And it's going to be, it's going to be 35 tonight, but a couple days this week it's going to be like 17, 18, 19 at night. Uh, which is really cold and my little heater it it's kind of temperamentally it'll work for a while and then it shuts itself off and then I can get it get back going back on in about an hour so uh, what I do is I go to sleep and wake up every three or four hours and turn it on for 30 minutes and then go back to sleep again which makes me really tired but that's what you got to do to keep warm I guess uh, and I, I don't sleep with it on so I don't uh, don't do that uh, I've got a window open and I have an exhaust fan, but uh, still, I don't want to sleep with it on. The cats, I have cats and uh, the cats get up against it. And uh, Bruiser, he's a black and white cat, but he has brown spots on him because he, I don't know why he can't feel the heat, but he gets up against it or gets as close as he can. And he's not that cold because I feel, I mean, you know, his ears aren't cold. And I figure if their ears are cold, then they're cold. Uh, and their hair, of course, but, uh, or fur. But uh, anyway, uh, we're making it. I don't know how I'll make it till February, but I guess I will. It's been a hard winter, been a hard summer. Uh, I uh, I just moved the trailer. I usually park further over to the uh, in the parking lot, but um, the wind is just blowing so bad. I thought if I went into town, it would be blowing less because Walmart is up on a hill. And the wind blows up here, but uh, in town it's blowing too, just as bad. I couldn't find any place that I could have parked where uh, the wind wasn't blowing. I parked at the library. Usually that's kind of a block because I went in the library, but um, it was blowing just as hard and it was blowing the opposite direction. I mean, you look at the flags and uh, one place is blowing one direction, the other place is blowing another direction. So you can't figure out which direction it's blowing from to get away from it, <clears throat> even if you did have a place to get away from it. But anyway, it's cold, it's windy, um, it's winter. <laughs> what are you going to do? So anyway, uh, let me see. Oh, my cabinet fell over yesterday. Uh, I'll show you it real quick. I have it uh, attached to the wall. This time I put three of those webbing things on it and longer screws. Hopefully that went into the, the plywood that's under the uh, insulation and it'll hold it up better. I was driving too fast, I guess, 30, 35, and that's too fast to go around a corner. And it always falls over. The others haven't, but uh, boy, that one does. So hopefully now it won't fall over. I've got three on it. I could put more, I guess, but uh, I don't know. And I made me a bed, if you can see that. Uh, of course, this is what you call a cat bed because the cats are on it 24 7 <laughs> unless i'm on it and then i make a move out of the way at least until i can lay down and uh, i guess they keep me warm and i keep them warm it's uh it's a sharing thing <laughs> they're good cats <laughs> i don't know they haven't been eating as much and my older cat He's not doing well. He, he keeps throwing up, and the doctor told me to give him Pepto-Bismol on his lips, and he'd lick it off, and, and that does help a little bit. You know, he doesn't throw up all the time. He just throws up, you know, once or, once or twice a day. Uh, so anyway, like I said, I had taken him to the vet, and that's what they said to do. And uh, But he's just old, and his food's cold, and he's cold, and I was sure I would have a house by now, but... Uh, It'll be February or March before I can find a house and apply for a house. And uh, I'll have some bills paid off in February or January. So then my first month without those bills will be February. And um, so then I can show them that I, you know, could make the payments. Uh, the uh, And of course, I should be getting more money through my Social Security my pension isn't going to get any better, but my Social Security is, supposedly. But they'll probably raise Medicare, and then we won't have any money anyway. It's so ridiculous. Give you money, and then we'll take it back. 
But that's why they always do. Even with when you're working, you have insurance. You know, your insurance, you get a raise and then your insurance raises. Just enough to cover the insurance. <laughs> that's okay. Uh, I just hate it because the cats are warm. I was supposed to have been able to save money all year. And I didn't get to. My son's been having some issues, and I've been helping him. And uh, I, I didn't get to save any money. Uh, now it's Christmas. I just got through my granddaughter's birthday, so I had to get her birthday. And then next, I got to get the her her brother's birthday is this month, next week. And uh, then I have to buy Christmas in December. So it'll be January before I have any money again. Uh, and I've been getting one of those payday loans, and I pawned my saw because the gas is so high. It's it's not even the food that I buy is so high. Uh, the gas is killing me. Uh, and I can't even uh, – I've got to have a tank to last me for like 14 days and uh, 15 days. And uh, I can't go across town. So I'm spacing it out so I can go every three days and take a shower. <laughs> and uh, three days is pushing it, but – I don't have the gas to get over there and get back. Uh, I'm selling stuff on Etsy. I uh, just drove to the library to get uh, get the package all. I've got stuff to weigh it in. I, if, I, if I ship it through a pirate ship, then it's like a dollar cheaper than doing the post office. So, And I have to go that way anyway because post office is down the street from the library. So I go to the library and I weigh it with my little uh, scale and tape it up and uh, – print my label off at pirate ship and then tape it on and take it to the library and or the post office and stick it in. But I forgot <laughs> I have to, um, I have to pay for the label when I print it off and I don't, I won't have that money for a couple of days. So anyway, I've got everything weighed and written down and all that stuff. And the, so I can get the label, I can get the label ready in just a few minutes and excuse me. <coughs> Oh. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Allergies still. How can you have allergies in the middle of summer or in the middle of winter? But anyway, <laughs> the um, I'll have that ready to mail. So I just need to go down as soon as I get the money, go down, print the label, and put it on and take it to the post office. Uh, they should give me my money here in a couple of days so I can do that. And uh That'll be great because I'm going to, by then, I'm going to be needing to refill this uh, propane tank. And uh, I need to, I want to have an extra. I've got an extra tank, but I need to have, have one filled all the time. So if I run out, then I have one to put on because it's so cold. And uh, I just can't do without propane. I mean, it's just, there's no way these cats can stand it without any heater at all. Even if they all sleep up there together, it's still cold. So anyway, I can see that's Apple Wolf behind me there. He's like a little uh, little Apple Wolf. <laughs> I don't know. He's got really long hair. So I forgot what those cats are called, the ones with really long hair. But I got two of those. And uh, they're good cats. Got Apple Wolf and Catfish Riley. Catfish Riley has long hair, too. The others all have short hair. So... Oh, no, and I got a little baby cat. He has long hair, but he's a, and he's not a baby, but he's a little cat. And uh, he has real long hair, but he doesn't have the same kind of hair as they have. His is real, uh, looks like people hair. It's so thin. Uh, but he still has long hair. But he doesn't lose it like they do. It doesn't get balled up or anything. It's, it's different kind of hair. So I'm sure you don't care about that. Anyway, it's cold in Indiana. I'm knitting little chicken sweaters and selling them like crazy. I can't, uh, I hardly can keep up with them. I just sold another one, like I said, today. And then uh, I uh, got it ready to go. I'm going to sit down here and start another one and get it on there. I've only got like three listed, three or four listed. And uh, like I said, they've been selling like hotcakes. Everybody's anticipating their... Um, cat trying to get my sandwich the um the cold coming are already there the places i've been mailing them to is california and uh oregon and uh, this last one goes to nebraska so they're all um counting on their chickens to get cold so um 
Well, you know, they when they peck on each other, they pull the, their feathers out, and then they, they're bare. So it's not so much that they put them on people as put them on to keep them warm. It's to keep them warm, but after they've lost their feathers, after somebody's been mean to them. Darn chickens. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, I've got, uh, I've been doing that. That's extra, you know, it has time. I have time to do it. And, uh, and I figured out a way to mail it even cheaper. Like I say, I get a dollar off if I mail it through Pirate Ship. Pirate Ship's a good deal if you check it out. Um, if you mail things. <clears throat> and uh, like this last one's like a dollar and a half. So uh, that's because it's Nebraska instead of California. But uh, that uh, saves me a little bit of money. Because I don't charge that much for them. Now, a lot of people charge in $17, $20, $25 for them. I've been trying to keep it as low as I can. I do make quality, uh, I do make quality sweaters. They're nice sweaters, and I reinforce the neck, and uh, I have two buttonholes on each side so they can tighten it if it needs to be tightened. And they're uh, they're good buttons. Some I was using some uh, vintage buttons, but now I'm down to some other buttons I'm using, and uh, everybody seems to like them. I haven't had any complaints, and they they all liked what they received. So that's good. Um, but I sell them for $15, $14.95, uh, approximately $15. But if I have to pay $5.50 for um, shipping, then that only leaves nine fifty. dollars And Etsy, which is where I sell them through, uh, I figured out they took like $1.70 plus $0.20 cents to list it. So that's like $2 they take. So I'm only getting like $7.50 out of it. And I've got to buy the yarn. So let's say the yarn's two dollars and fifty cents. Well, that leaves me with five dollars, which you know you're not going to get your time out of it anyway. But uh, that is not very much for for what I'm doing. <laughs> but I, I don't want to raise the price to twenty dollars. I don't think I'll sell them. I don't. I can't possibly see those people buying those for twenty two, twenty three dollars. I, I just can't imagine that. And I and like I say, I I feel like I. If I put the shipping in included in it, I sell more than if I they have to pay for the shipping. Because then they see how much the shipping is, I think. Uh, I don't know if they look at the package and see how much it costs to ship it or not. But $5.50 is the lowest you can get at the post office to mail it. Uh, that's why I'm trying the pirate ship. I don't know why I didn't think of it a couple months ago whenever I was selling a bunch. Because that would have saved me a lot of money. But um, the idea just came to me again that I was using that. Why didn't I start using it again uh, it's a deal they still charge you the uh, there's like a holiday charge that USPS charges you like 40 cents or something but still this like I say this last one is like three dollars and 88 cents and uh, so that's great and I even upped it because I don't have the tape and the piece the label on it yet so I even up the the weight to compensate for that Anyway, it's cold in Indiana. Thank you for listening. Uh, I keep trying to find uh, more interesting videos, but I'm stuck in this trailer, and there's just really nothing that interesting in here. <laughs> I, uh, I'm i looking for land. I saw 10 acres yesterday on the computer, and I went back, and I was going to check it out again, and it's not on there. I don't know where where I lost it at or why it's not still on there. Every time I see something on there that I might be able to use, um, in two days, is, or one or two days, it's gone. It's not on there anymore. So uh, I guess they're good deals for everybody, and they're they're buying it. I don't want a house in town. Uh, there's a lot of houses in town that are reasonably priced, and I could probably get the loan for them. But I want to grow my own food, and I can't. you can't have chickens in town yet. They're, they're thinking about that ordinance, but they haven't okayed it yet. So, uh, you know, you couldn't even have chickens uh, for eggs. Uh, and once they only lay for so long, and then you need to eat them. You know, they're, they're not good for anything else, except you got to keep feeding them. So, and I wanted to get a pig, a couple of pigs, and you certainly can't get a couple of pigs in town. But uh, I'm trying to find something outside of town, uh, a house, if not a house, land, and I can put one of those little houses on it tiny houses what they're called and uh you know i can always add on to that you know i'm a carpenter union carpenter and i can add on to that myself uh but i've got to uh get the land first and i'm telling you the land's just hard to find uh you know nobody wants to buy 
hundred thousand acres, and uh, that's the only thing they want to sell. They don't want to sell you ten acres. They just want to sell a hundred thousand. Uh, either that or somebody dies, and they've got you know two hundred fifty thousand acres, or three hundred thousand acres, or or whatever. Um, I can't buy that. I guess you know even if I could buy it and lease it to someone else to uh, farm. They won't give me the financing for that much. They just won't. I'd have to have uh, somebody's name saying they would farm it before they would give me the loan for it. And I don't think they will give you the loan for um, the loan I'm talking about is like uh, no down payment loan. Uh, they won't give you that loan to use as a business or to make money. So I could have my own pigs just for me and my family, but I really couldn't sell, you know, 500 pigs. And you can't lease the land. They won't give you the money for that. I don't see how they expect you to do it, you know. Um, I mean, I understand people would get it maybe who couldn't afford it or whatever, uh, but um, or they'd have to repossess the land or whatever. I just don't see how they can do it. You know, it has to be people with lots of money, like Bill Gates buying up land, or um, it'd have to be family. And uh, that's why the farmers, they keep it all in the family. And the rest of us can't can't get a hold of it you know i don't want all of it i just want a little piece uh, i have all these ideas i have tons of things to do the farming with i have a lawn tractor that i pretty good sized lawn tractor so i can till up a garden um you know to get it started i'm not wouldn't till it every year i don't think i think i would just go with no till but uh, the um like I said, I have everything I need to do it. I just need to get the land. Hopefully in February, I'm praying and hoping and uh, doing whatever I can to get it. Uh, paying my bills on time. I haven't paid a bill late in ever, forever. And uh, I'm not going to. So I'm trying not to buy anything on credit. Like I said, I've got those two little, two or three little bills I pay off in January. And then that will be it. Uh, I just ordered a Christmas present. I'm going to have them bill me for that, but... It's a small Christmas present, and I can get it paid off next month, so it's no big deal. Um, but I need to quit doing that, and I need to quit doing the payday loans, and because uh, they put that on your credit rating. But I pay them off the day they're due; they're paid. So, um, but still, it's not a good thing to do. And I can get my saw back, so they don't. At least that doesn't go to your credit rating. <laughs> Uh, cause I can't lose my saw. I, I got, I wanted to cut this bed down. I just showed you my bed. It's too high. I put it high enough because I want to put boxes under it. And I thought I was going to stack two on top, but, uh, I don't, don't have two to stack on top. And I got boxes down there with blankets in them for the cats to sleep in. So it doesn't need to be that high. And it's really, it's about four inches too high for me to get up on. I have to crawl practically to get up on it, scoot. And I, I have a footstool in the storage unit. I thought I saw it the other day, but I couldn't find it when I went to look for it. Uh, of course. But anyway, <laughs> and I'm not going to build another one. I don't have enough wood to do that with, or I don't want to do it. So, um, I mean, it's got to hold my weight, which is 200 pounds. So, less, I've lost weight. But uh, anyway, okay, I'm just rambling now. <laughs> just have a good day. Uh Say your prayers, take care of your family, and thank you for joining me. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye.